What's going on, guys? My name is Mike Montez. I'm a fighter, I'm fighting here out of the Coachella Valley. When's the next fight, Mike? Last fight was awesome. Watch yeah. that fight, it was incredible. Um, what's next? Uh, I got a boxing match coming up October 19th, yeah. and then the, that's going to be in Palm Springs, California. And then the following weekend, I'm going straight into an MMA fight, another Where, cage fight. Where's that at? That's going to be in Long Beach at uh, Lights Out, Lights Out Extreme Fighting, LXF20. So if they need to find out, they want tickets? If you want tickets, you can go to LS, LSF, no, no, it's LXF20. Go ahead and Google search that. But there'll be uh, tickets up for sale on their website. So just keep that out. Or you can go ahead and follow me at Mike Montez underscore on Instagram and I'll be selling some tickets That's and it. we could talk more on there. You could touch base and yeah, go to the up. Instagram. Mike's awesome. Heavy hands, really nice ground game, exciting to watch. So uh, go to his Instagram, support him. Good luck, Mike. Awesome, man. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Appreciate it. It's Friday, September 20th, 2024. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, a lot to talk about. Uh, I want to start uh, by just, um, sharing a little news with you that I was watching earlier today. I was watching Fox Business. They they had a woman on, an economist. I'm not exactly sure what her name was or, or, or her title, but I thought it was pretty interesting because uh, as most of you know, the big talk has been the rate cuts. And she said, now this is a, an economist or a guest on Fox Business that people are gonna be going back to Lowe's, they're gonna be going back to Home Depot now because of these rate cuts. And now they're gonna be able to, to buy with their credit cards because their credit cards, their, their APRs are gonna go down to 20, 21% instead of 22, 23%. So they can go, and she said, they can buy porches, they can buy sheds, they can buy things for their homes because now their credit card rates are gonna be 20%. Isn't that wonderful? Think about that, that this is the good news, that the rate cuts are gonna get your credit card APRs down to 20%. Some of you, it'll be much higher because you're already paying 30. But think about this garbage that they keep pushing on the television. The good news is your credit card interest rate is only gonna be 20%, so now you can go out and shop. This is, to me, legal loan sharking. 20% is a good rate now. This is unbelievable. Uh, so uh, now that we can all you know, go out and buy sheds and porches at 20%, I guess the economy is, is improving. <clears throat> so here's another one today. U.S. economic toll of East Coast and Gulfport strike could be billions of dollars per day, trade expert warns. This uh, was on Fox Business. Uh, you're going to see more inflation. We're hearing about uh, the auto strikes, the port strikes, there'll be more strikes, more layoffs, more businesses closing. You're going to see more inflation coming. Make sure you're preparing for that. CEO scale back hiring plans amid weaker sales projections, cooling economy. Uh, I don't know about you, but uh, if you've been uh, to the store lately, the Christmas trees, the, the, the Christmas decorations, the Santa Clauses, they're already out. We haven't even hit Halloween and Christmas is there. It's already here. Uh, I saw Christmas trees. Where was it? Um, I think it was actually Lowe's uh, weeks ago. Weeks ago. They already had their, their Christmas decorations out. Uh, I do forecast and believe that Christmas sales are going to be absolutely uh, horrible this year. Uh, and what about the jobs where people pick up extra, you know, extra work, part-time work uh, during the, the holiday season? You're going to see less people getting those jobs. And a lot of people depend on those holiday jobs. They're not going to be uh, flourishing like they once were. Um, Last year, we drove by, filmed some of the Christmas tree lots. They couldn't give Christmas trees away last year. They sat on them. And so I, I think a lot less people are gonna be paying $150 for a Christmas tree this year. Another article today that uh, I thought was very interesting, and I saw this interview on Fox Business two days ago, John Paulson, the hedge fund billionaire, they asked him, what will he do if Harris becomes president? Now, we're not sitting here getting political, but this is a question that was asked of him a couple days ago in Fox Business. John Paulson said, if Harris is elected, he will sell all of his stocks. He will go strictly to cash and gold. That is if Harris is elected president. What do you think about that? What would you do? Is it going to make a difference uh, who is elected? This is the guy that made billions of dollars betting against uh, the subprime mortgage uh, lending back in 2007. 
So smart guy, this is what he would do. Uh, what? Pardon me if you hear Nugget, she's having uh, some water here right now. Um, but what would you do if Harris is elected? What would you do if Trump is elected? Will there be any difference whatsoever? John Paulson thinks that there will be. Uh, Here's one from CNBC today. Gold breaks $2,600 barrier as Fed cut bets prolong historic run. Uh, gold now uh, has soared above $2,600 uh, for the first time ever. Rate cuts, rising tensions, and uh, the Middle East uh, war that is erupting, I, I think I would add uh, what's happening over in Ukraine also adding to this, all the political uncertainty adding to this, uh, more inflation, uh, the threat of these port strikes, this is all uh, benefiting gold and, you know, to me, this is not good news. As a holder of gold and, and somebody who just made a sizable purchase a couple days ago, this is not good news. When you see gold going to these prices, something is wrong. Things are breaking. There is a lot of uh, political, geopolitical uncertainty, war, uh, and economic uh, stress out there, and it's going to get worse. Uh, I think gold is. I, I would. I would have to say that gold will, will definitely be over three thousand dollars, in my opinion, in the first quarter of 2025. If something uh, comes out of left field this year, we could see three thousand by the end of the year. That's that would not be any that would that would not be anything uh, too extreme uh, or, uh, or unconceivable. Uh, but I think that at the rate we're going, that early next year, uh, gold will be over three thousand unless something comes out of uh, left field here and we get there sooner. But uh, it's not inconceivable to, to think that we could see $3,000 gold this year. We'll see what happens. But um, you've got to ask yourself this. As we're being told every day on the television, everything is good. The rate cuts are wonderful. This is going to help everybody. Everybody now can go out and buy a house, buy a car. Uh, you're, you, you can rub your credit cards now. You can go buy a porch or a shed at Home Depot. Everything's wonderful. Why, if everything is so wonderful, is gold $2,600 over $2,600, right? as I make this video, $2,621. Why is gold $2,621 right now? Why is it at all-time highs? Why is it going to continue going up if they have inflation under control, if the economy is doing so well, if people's wages are going up, if they're saving money? They're, uh, why is gold at all-time highs? So please answer me that. Mercedes-Benz slides after China slowdown becomes a nightmare amid profit warning. Mercedes, year-to-date, down 11.3%. BMW, year-to-date, down 26%. Uh, this China slowdown could have a, a global, uh, a catastrophic global impact uh, on the world, without a doubt. But isn't it um, interesting? Just a couple years ago, when Mercedes, they could, you couldn't get a Mercedes, you couldn't get a BMW. Everybody was buying these things. Now uh, they're piling up on the lots. Uh, their shares are are, are are dropping like a rock. Uh, we're in a whole different world now. We certainly are not in 2022 anymore. People aren't getting the free money. They're not getting. Um, the uh, unemployment uh, benefits, they're not getting the stimmies, uh, they're, they're not getting anything except uh, more bills and more debt. Uh, Market watch, car buyers face a stubborn problem, stubborn problem that Fed interest rates cannot solve. And what is it? Record high prices. And I would say the same thing with housing. These rate cuts are not going to help housing. Prices must come down. We have record high prices for automobiles. I think the average new car payment is something uh, around $787 a month, somewhere uh, in that ballpark. $787 per month is the average new car payment. That used to be uh, a mortgage payment. How are people doing this? Um, and if prices don't come down uh, with cars or houses, they're going to keep piling up like we're watching them do right now. If you look at the MLS, listings are piling up. They're sitting days on market much longer. If you drive by your local car lots, you see exactly what I'm seeing. You're seeing more SUVs, trucks, and cars sitting on those lots, and they don't want to cut prices. And they can keep them. They can sit on them. Uh, I certainly wouldn't pay the, uh, these overvalued prices for a house or an automobile right now. Uh, unless you have got to have one, uh, I think you have a better, a better chance uh, of buying something used as far as a car. But buying a new car right now, especially with the amount of recalls 
the quality issues that we're seeing uh, with automobiles today, uh, it, it's a real gamble. Uh, demand for existing homes wilts. Supply supply spikes to highest for any for any August since 2018. Prices dip despite mortgage rates that have plunged for 10 months. Uh, this on WolfStreet.com. Do you really believe mortgage rates and too high home prices are going to cause demand? I don't. But lower mortgage rates and lower prices will uh, uh, cause demand when you add that to higher wages. Home sales are down 36%. Let me repeat this. Home sales, for the realtors out there that wanna write me and try to tell me that I'm wrong, uh, I'm, I'm, look, I, I'm, they go, well, you're not on the MLS. Well, I have something even better. Uh, you know, I, I get uh, all the quarterly reports uh, from Chicago Title with all the sales here in Southern California. And I look at those uh, when, I when I have a chance. And it is um, disturbing. It really is. So you can look at the MLS all you want. Uh, I'm looking at title reports. I'm looking at sales. I'm looking at pending sales. Um, and that is the most accurate thing you can look at. So I'm looking at all the title records here in Southern California, and it is very, very disturbing. So the realtors out there that want to um, bamboozle us and tell us that what we're seeing isn't real, uh, that this is the best time to buy a house, you are absolutely wrong. Stop lying to us. This is the worst possible time to buy a house. Um, home sales, again, down 36% from August of 2021, the worst sales since the great financial crisis. Okay, I don't care what you're selling. If sales are down 36%, that is literally a collapse, a collapse, a crisis. So to all the realtors out there, this is, this is the real data, okay? Sales are down 36% from 2021, and they're not going to get better anytime soon. Here's another one from WoolStreet.com. Fannie Mae gets gloomer or gloomier about home sales. Buyers strike to continue despite dropping mortgage rates and surging listings. Surging listings. Uh, Bankrate.com today, 30-year fixed rate, 6.16%. Uh, Where are all the buyers? Where, that, where were we, like 7.5% uh, a while back? Now we're at 6.16%. Nobody's buying houses. I thought everybody was going to jump in when the rates came down a full percentage point. They're down more than a full percentage point, and nobody's buying houses. Mortgage apps, for all the realtors out there that want to tell me I'm wrong, mortgage apps are at a record low. They are down 22% compared to last year. That is catastrophic. So if you're a real estate agent, you wanna write me, that's fine. Um, you're very, very wrong. I'm very, very right. I'm looking at the data here right now. But when you have mortgage apps dropping 22% year over year, and uh, one out of five homes that's in escrow is not going to close escrow because they're falling out of escrow. People are not getting qualified, the homes aren't appraising, whatever the case may be. Nearly 20% of homes in escrow are not closing. That is catastrophic also. So uh, you can try to fool us all you want. I'm not buying a house today. I advise that anybody watching this, unless you have to buy a house, do not buy a house today. They are completely overvalued. This is the biggest housing bubble we have ever seen in the history of America. The cost of the newcomers are sinking cities. This is on the Washington Examiner. This is going to cause even more inflation because you're paying for this. In the article, it talks about Cook County. That's uh, the county where Chicago is in. $2.2 million per month on healthcare for the newcomers. $2.2 million per month to take care of the newcomers. Where is the money coming from? It's coming from you. You're gonna pay more on property tax, sales tax, whatever. You're paying for it. This is going to be even more inflationary than we thought. And this is just Cook County. USA Today, deadly violence on America's highways wreaks fear, havoc, and frustration. Road rage incidents are soaring. So shifting gears here a little bit uh, from the economy to uh, the social collapse that we're watching take, take place. Um, you got to be really, really careful out there. It says here, you know, a moment of frustration can turn tragic so quickly. Has anybody experienced road rage 
uh, as of late? Have you, you're out there driving. Have you seen, have you witnessed it? Has it happened to you? Comment down below. It said in 2024, there were uh, 1,058 shootings. Uh, it, it goes in the article about the, the amount of fights and threats and car accidents this has caused. And it is unbelievable what is taking place. You've got to be really, really careful out there. People are on the edge. They're losing jobs. They're, they're getting divorces. Uh, they have no money. They're getting worried. Uh, a lot of people are facing homelessness now. Uh, a lot of people are losing everything. Uh, you don't know who you're dealing with, who's driving home from LA on a three-hour drive back to Victorville uh, after a long day uh, of, of a stressful job. Uh, there's so much going on. And as the economy gets worse, uh, society is going to get worse and you're going to see uh, a, a societal collapse here and you're watching it take place. You know, people go, When's, when are things going to collapse? Well, they're collapsing right now, right before your very eyes. They're collapsing economically and they're collapsing socially and morally right before your very eyes. And some people can see it. Some people can hear it. And many are blind to it and deaf to it. And I hope that you can see and hear what's going on. The people who cannot, uh, they're going to be in very, very big trouble because uh, they are not seeing the warning. This is just the beginning, ladies and gentlemen. And pay attention to what is going on. But avoid a confrontation at all costs. It is not worth it. I mean, people are willing to uh, just somebody blowing the horn, willing uh, to take a life or go to prison for 20 years uh, just for somebody, you know, yelling at them or blowing a horn. This is not worth it. Just ignore it and, and get home. Uh, I'm going to finish with this last article. This one's been floating around the internet uh, for a couple days. Family distraught after horses abducted and butchered for meat, perpetra perpetrators at large. This happened uh, in Miami-Dade County a couple days ago. Uh, a reminder of just how evil the world really is. Uh, this family, they, it was a husband, wife, and their kids. They're completely distraught. Uh, they found uh, uh, parts of the animal off the road. The, the law enforcement found, found the remains of the animal after it was butchered uh, off the side of a road. And what a what an evil thing to do. Uh, somebody uh, cut the fence, snuck the horses out, abducted them, and uh, butchered them. And it is just another reminder, again, not, we, we talk about the road rage, but I mean, pay close attention to what is going on. Uh, really pay close attention to your kids, your animals, uh, I, I mean, your dogs, whatever. I mean, who in the world would do something like this? And and I'm not saying that this was somebody that it was a uh, somebody from not not from here, a newcomer or whatever. We don't even know. Um, no matter who did this, it is a very very evil thing to do. And they're not saying that it was an immigrant. Could have been somebody who lived here. We don't know. At the end of the day, the bottom line is, is a very evil thing. First off, it's not even your animal. You you stole two animals, two pets that these people said were family members. Kids, these were a couple kids' horses, and somebody took them, butchered them. I mean, what in the world is going on in this in this world? What a sick, evil world. What a demonic thing to do to a family, to take their pets. It's like taking somebody's dog and doing something like that. you got to really pay close attention to uh, what's happening on your property. Keep an eye on your kids. Keep an eye on your animals. They're just very, very evil people out there. This Again, it doesn't matter where these people were from. At the end of the day, this is just purely evil that somebody would just come in and cut somebody's fence sneak these horses out and then do what they did to them. Absolutely evil. Um, be really, really uh, on guard with what's happening on your property. When you leave your house, when you're back at your house, again, keep your, keep an eye on your kids, your pets, uh, every, your properties, everything. Uh, there's just some really, really evil people out there. So I just wanted to uh, share all that with you. Please feel free to comment down below on any of this. And um, uh, please uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Share these videos everywhere, all over your social media. And uh, as always, I look forward to speaking to each and every one of you. Have a good weekend. Have a safe weekend. And make sure you keep uh, preparing and training. God bless. One, two, two, three, four.
Double. Like that. One, two. Under this way. Three. Like that. Double. One, two. Slip, slip. Step out. So. Three. Pop, pop. Three. Like that. Double. There you go. <laughs> One, two. Under, under. Go. Double jab right hand. Oh, that was a workout today. It's crazy, man. A lot of punches. Oh, a lot of punches, a lot of uh, abs. Wow. It's crazy. We're going crazy here. Keep doing it. We're doing it, man. We're Keep doing it. Don't quit. Positions. Don't quit.